Hi everyone, Skip here. Take a journey with me as I explore all 64 of Wisconsin State Parks and post short, informative, inspirational videos on this channel. Tune in and plan your day hike. Hiking trail. I really like the Echo Rock Trail here. Okay. Um, it's really short. It's paved, um, super easy. But I think it's one of the best views in the park. There's a lookout spot over the lake there, and then right here there's like a 150 foot bridge that goes over a gorge, um, and then it connects onto the Ashnala Trail. It makes it a bit longer if you'd like. Um, it's kind of more prairie out on this side, and then it's wooded on this side here. Okay. Um, another really good one is the Northwest Trail, and it's mostly wooded, but there's kind of some lake access here, and then from here back it's pretty wooded. Is, now does this part here, does this get to be like an overlook? Um, I don't think there's any overlooks on this trail per se, but right over here is the Pulver Rock Trail, mm -hmm. and there's an overlook there, um, right over next to the Fern Dove Gorge here. What do you think of, uh, what is this place called? Uh, Mirror Lake. What's your impression of Mirror Lake so far? Um, nice and calm and not buggy. Uh, fishing is eh. Right in front of the frame, uh, Kai is going to go up there and just kind of show you uh, the structure that's in the frame here. Um, Kai is uh, with me today, uh, helping me out with my photography and my camera settings. I'm anticipating this whole production is going to look way better. <laughs> somewhere a long time ago that's ages ago. <laughs> that's really cool i'd read something about those tracks too um mm -hmm. and it's interesting you say that they're there for a wagon because they didn't look like strong enough to support a truck or something like that mm -hmm. but they would be perfect for a wagon or like a hay wagon or something to a, a, a barn or farm activity in there right R right right mm -hmm. yeah and the horse walked down the middle <laughs> yeah yeah that's right because there's it's just grass right there mm. fast assistant Kai is getting down the hill just fine did a really good job but oh he's coming to the uphill part let's see is his stride getting shorter does it look like he's breathing harder he's shaking his head no I don't know oh no no he totally flexed on us yeah it's steep but it's pretty short too uh, now you see it, so make your own decision about if this is right for you. Wisconsin Dells are a major tourist attraction, and rightly so. It's a terrific, fun place. I used to come here with my kids when they were young, and we always had a great time. Everyone does. This right here is the real Dells, are the real Dells, I think, however. 
Uh, this is the real geologic formations that that are so marvelous and I, I presume unique uh, in all the world. And this is where to see them in their natural state and also kind of learn how they came together. I found pulpit rock, that, that one plaque right there, to be the best description that I could understand of how these uh, these gorges uh, came together. Basically, it seems like it's a two-part process. There was, first there was the half a billion years ago process where this was uh, at the edge of a land mass and uh, a uh, inland sea or a giant sea. And the rivers from the land mass kept depositing sand and dirt and other stuff over eons, and this built up, built up, built up, built up. And those are the, those are the layers that we see in these gorges here. They compress down into sandstone. But then there was the geologic lake of Lake Wisconsin. Over the course of just a few days, all of the water in a lake the size of Great Salt Lake, this thing is huge. You can see it from space, you know. It all went out and it cut these gorges in a matter of days. And that was relatively recent. So I think that's why this is such a geologically unique place. And it's obviously beautiful and uh, uh, captivating. It's, it, it's amazing to see. The lake was beautiful. It's very serene here. It's called Mirror Lake because the water is often calm, like we can see today, and it acts uh, like a mirror. And, and that was really the case. There were winds that came and went as uh, Kai and I were boating down this lake, but they were not, uh, it, it never got wavy or, or choppy in, in that way. And for much of the time, it was just this flat, peaceful lake that we see here today. The forests are very pretty. There is a lot of old growth here. Uh, the old growth, well, it's, I don't know if it's original growth, but it's old growth. There's some stuff here that uh, escaped the hatchet uh, back in the day of uh, all the heavy uh, timbering that was going on here. Oak growths uh, here too, supporting a population of blue jays, a bird, which I really love. and. Um, they're, they're really pretty and they're, they're just not seen everywhere, but they're in abundance here. The condition of the trails is fantastic. They're wide open trails as you could see in the video. Uh, there's a lot of sand there, so there's not a lot of standing water here. I think even in the spring they'd probably be pretty dry. So, you know, at least three seasons of good hiking here. Thanks for watching. Let's go, let's go, go. Let's uh, go outside and into the great outdoors and uh, uh, do some more state parks. We'll see you next time. Bye.